Welcome, welcome, welcome to you. My name is Lebohang Dube and I will be doing paper two misconceptions and common problems. Before I begin, a huge shout out to Liberty, our sponsor. Thank you so much, Liberty, for assisting us and helping us to get all this knowledge to learners at home. Please don't forget to download the Tenfold Education app where you can rewind and fast forward um, and do as you please while you are learning meaning you can watch the same topic over and over and over again please don't forget to also follow us on youtube subscribe to our youtube channel at mindset learn same story you can go over it over and over again with no limits so paper two always proves to be the most challenging um, paper two is measurement maps and plans um, and again a bit of probability so probability is in both paper one um, and paper two as well so please please don't forget that it's no longer that whole mixture of topics in one place so we are going to do paper two let's do some measurement and maps and plans so please don't um forget that when you walk into um, an exam room concerning such a topic that you need to know how to convert number one your conversions are very 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 important i'm going to show you some of um, the conversions now don't forget you need to know all your shapes um, because even though the formulas are given for the shapes, some people don't know how to use the formula. So let's look at some of the issues that we might come across. So Mr. Dudley, a farmer, travels from his farm to the city once a week. The distance from the city um, is 90 kilometers. He plans to buy four boxes of tiles to replace some broken tiles um, in his kitchen. I'm going to show you all of the things that we mis make mistakes on um, generally. So look at this. We are asked to convert 90 kilometers to millimeters. And remember now there's a whole bunch um, of stuff in between. Because if I am saying kilometers, then there's meters. Then there's centimeters. Then there's millimeters. Uh, this, for me, automatically means that I am skipping the first. I am skipping the second. And all the way to um, the last one. So the importance in this particular question is that I need to look at the number of zeros. So I have three zeros, five zeros, six zeros zeros meaning that when i do my um conversion from kilometers to millimeters then i am going to be multiplying by a million oh my goodness so it's going to be 90 times six zeros okay so 90 times one and then one, two, three, one, two, three. So I hope you are understanding exactly what I mean. That is 90 million. Know how to say your words, um, numbers, know how to write them down as well. So that's 90 million. 90 million millimeters. See that? 90 million millimeters. Okay. Stunning. If I were to go backwards, I'd just divide. Calculate the number of tiles packed in one box if the area of one tile um, is 0, 0,36 meters square and the tiles are sold at 144 um, meters square per box. So we want to know how many tiles are going to be in one box. I use a simple technique when it comes to this in particular. And the, 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 the advice I always give to learners, whenever you have a question like this and it seems a bit tricky, 
always remember um, to, to, to write down what you know. So I know that one box, one box um, is going to cover 1,44. Okay, let's just write that properly. 1,44 meter square. That's what I know, okay? But I then want to know how many tiles are going to be in this box, okay? So, um, let's see. It says the number of tiles packed in one box, um, if that is the, 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 the situation. So, let's just see something. Um, 0, 36 meter square. So, that's going to tell us. So, I'm going to cross multiply. Um, I'm gonna, okay, no, this one, this one is not gonna work with this particular method. And the reason why I'm gonna tell you that is that when it says the number of box, it actually means how many. Okay, so let's just take that back. So whenever I have a how many question, I know I'm going to divide. How many simply means division. So it's bigger area. divided by smaller area. So that's how you tackle a how many question, okay? Um, so 1,44 divided by 0, 0,36. And this is gonna tell us how many um, tiles are gonna be packed in a box. And, and, and there's something quite interesting that I want us to look at um, when it comes to such questions. So 1,44 divided by 0, 0,36. That's four tiles in a box. If we had gotten a decimal number, we were going to round down. And the reason why we round down is because we cannot have half a tile in a box. Okay, so if it was 4,5, we were going to say four full tiles. If it was 4,3, it was going to be four full tiles. Okay, if it was 3,9, it is going to be three full tiles. So whenever we are working with whole numbers, we are either going to round up or round down. So in this case, we round down. And then it says to us here, Mr. Dudley takes 1,125 hours to travel to town. Convert the time to hours, minutes, and seconds. Stunning. Another concept um, that learners find very big issues with. So whenever I have my 1,1 to five hours and I need to convert it to hours minutes and seconds I'm going to do it in those steps exactly I already have my one hour so I already have my one hour and once I've taken out my one hour I will have 0, 0,125 remaining I need to take this and I need to multiply it by 60 so it doesn't mean it's one hour and 13 minutes. That's what a lot of learners say. They would have said it's one hour and 13 minutes. No, you take this amount, you bring it down and you multiply it by 60 to convert it um, to minutes. Please don't forget this. So 0, 0,125, 0, 0,125 times 60. So that is 7,5. Look at what I'm about to do. That's 7,5, meaning 7 minutes. So it's not 7 minutes and 5 seconds. You see what I did there? Now I subtract that 7 and I'm left with 0, 0,5. So I'm going to be left with this 0, 0,5. I take this 0, 0,5. And I multiply it yet again. I'm going to say this one was for minutes. Now I multiply this again to convert it to seconds because I have 60 seconds um, in a minute. Okay. So 0, 0,5 times 60. And that's 30. So that is 30 seconds. Do you see what I did there? It's not one hour, 13 minutes, or one hour, 12 minutes, and five seconds. No, that is not how you do it. You first take out the hour, 
which is this one. And then you multiply by 60 minutes. You get your 7,5. You take that 7 minutes out. You are left with 0, 0,5. You multiply it by 60 again and you get your seconds. Therefore, if I'm now converting it, it's then 1 hour, 7 minutes, and 30 seconds. Don't forget that. Very important. The price of petrol is 1,642 cents per liter. Another issue that we face. If I am given 1,642 cents, in most cases, you see I haven't even gone to the question. I mean, I haven't even gone to, yeah, I haven't gone to the question. I'm still reading my scenario. In most cases, learners will, will use this as 1,642 um, rand. That is not true. You need to convert this to rands. And if I convert this to rand, I need to divide it by 100. And if I divide this by 100, it goes backwards twice. So 1, 2... So it's going to be 16 rand and 42 cents. So know how to convert your cents to rands and you just simply divide by um, 100 over there. I haven't even gone to the question. I'm still looking at what the common mistakes are. Mr. Fisher drives a Jeep Wrangler with a fuel capacity of 75 liters. The Jeep has a fuel consumption of 7 comma six liters per kilometer. This, and this statement is often, um, yeah, it's often mixed up. The 75 liters is for the, the whole tank. So the 75 liters is the whole tank. Okay, and then, the 7,6 liters per kilometer is how much fuel I'm going to use for every 100 kilometers. Do you understand what I'm doing with this? So then it says calculate the amount of petrol that will be used for a return trip. So if I look at um, what it says over here, firstly, it doesn't say um, a lot in terms of how much this person is going to be traveling. I'm actually wondering if we've left any information out. Let's go see. Maybe we've left something out. Oh, there we go. It says the distance from the city to his farm is 90 kilometers. So we are working um, with 90 kilometers because he travels from the farm to the city. So that's 90 kilometers. And this 90 kilometers here, it doesn't say um, it's a return trip. So we automatically know that for the return trip, we need to multiply that by two. So for a return, we're going to start with single. Né? For a single trip, it's 90. We've got that, right? It's 90. And also just always check. And then for a return, it's going to be 90 times 2 because I'm going and I'm coming back. So it's going to be, I keep writing rands. So it's going to be, I keep writing, I'm thinking of money. So it's 180 kilometers. Okay, so we need to determine how much is going to cost this person for a return trip. So I know, ha, there's a lot that I need to do when it comes to a question like this. Um, it's not just whatever that meets the eye. So, so, so first things first, first things first, I need to determine how many liters this person is going to use of petrol. Okay, so I know that for every 100 kilometers, for every 100 kilometers, this is my known to unknown method. It's going to work this time. So for every 100 kilometers, this person is going to use 7,6 liters. 
be so careful with this method. You're going to do two things here. And this is why a lot of learners become confused when it comes to a question like this. Okay. I need to first figure out how many liters this person is going to use and then I can find the cost. So you can't find out the cost immediately. Okay. So 180 kilometers. So I want to know how many liters. So I cross multiply the two that are facing each other and I divide with the one that's facing the x. Therefore, 7 comma 6 times 180 divided by 100. And this is going to tell me how many liters of petrol this person um, is going to use for this return trip. So 7 comma 6 times 180. Again, you can use whatever method you find relevant. So this person is going to use 13 comma uh, 68 um, liters of petrol okay 13 and it makes sense because for every hundred kilometers this person uses seven comma six liters so 13 comma 68 also mathematical literacy always needs to make sense if it doesn't make sense I something is fishy go back to your calculations so you see what I did there? Now I can find out how much this person um, is going to pay. So let's go back. It says to us here um, that this person is going to pay this much per liter. So 16 comma 42. multiplied by the number of liters. So did you see what I did there? I did two things. I did two things in the same breath. I did two things in the same breath. And then that is then going to give me my answer. Multiplied um, by, so that's 13,68 multiplied by 16,42. Okay. So this person is going to pay 224 rand and 63 cents. 224 rand and 63 cents. Okay, so this is how much this person um, is going to be paying for this particular trip. So when it comes to measurement and when it comes to maps and plans, the scenarios differ. So you need to know how to convert. You need to know how to calculate um, certain scenarios that come like this. Let's take a quick ad break um, and then come back and carry on.